Hi, this is Matt Lucero, Technical Manager with O3B Networks. I'm here today to introduce our latest transportable antenna from AVL Technologies. It's available in 85 centimeter, 1 meter, and 1.2 meter reflector sizes. Today we're going to demonstrate how to assemble and get these antennas ready for operation on the O3B network. It's important to note the AVL antennas are made for rapid deployment. This class of antenna can be set up and carrying traffic in under 90 minutes. In this demonstration, we'll use the Viasat modem, which is specifically designed to operate on the O3B network. Uh, with this modem and these antenna systems, we can achieve over 300 megabits in the forward or downlink direction and over 100 megabits in the return or uplink direction. Because the antenna will automatically acquire the O3B satellites, it's important that the equator label next to the leveling bubble is always pointed towards the equator. The two front legs swing into position and then are individually adjusted to level the antenna using the bubble level. Attach the turn buckle to each of the movable tripod legs using the ball and socket quick disconnects. Then tighten the turn buckle. And again, check that the equator label next to the leveling bubble is pointed towards the equator. The antenna must be oriented to true north or true south within plus or minus 10 degrees. All of the cables are color coded to ensure that they are attached to the proper connector. Plug the feed boom into the positioner. Secure the feed boom using the captive fasteners on the positioner with 5 16 Allen wrench. The reflector pieces are coated so it is clear which side is left and which side is right. So be sure you're using the same parts for each antenna. Attach the side reflector panels to the main reflector panel. Ensure that the AVL serial numbers on all three reflector panels line up. Attach the completed reflector to the positioner. Secure the reflector using the captive fasteners on the positioner with a 5 16 inch Allen wrench. Attach the waveguide to the buck located on the feed boom and the rear of the feed using the hardware captive to the waveguide. Ensure the gaskets are present at each end of the waveguide connection point. These gaskets will prevent water intrusion into the system. Secure using 3 32 inch Allen wrench. <sighs> This IF cable is the L-band input to the buck. Now connect the dust covers from each side to protect them from the elements, especially water.
and then this is the LMB IF cable for the receive. Inside of this larger cable are both the power and ethernet for the buck and then they are split out to their individual connectors. This is the power connection and this is the ethernet connection for the buck. So on the buck, this is the power, this is the input transmit IF, this is the ethernet connector and that is all the connections on the buck. Then for the LMB, this is the connection to the LMB that provides the receive to the modem. And now the antenna is done. Be sure you're using the same parts for each antenna in the terminal, as swapping parts can potentially cause issues.